Okay, how we doing out there? First things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Illuminous 4K Screen Paint using ambient light rejection technology gain times four and five. I wanted to show you the size of the 140 inch screen. It's a 140 inch uh, 16 9 screen that comes with uh, built in grommets right here. So it comes with built in grommets. And there's two ways that you can utilize the surface now. Uh, this comes with our K and A home cinema in a box. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Our K and A home cinema in a box. Uh, they do come with a 140 inch screen. So there's two ways that you can utilize this. You could basically uh, cut off the um, the trim, which is the uh, the um, the border off of it, and staple this down to a frame because it's very easy. The material is very easy to staple down to a frame if you choose. You want to use it for indoor use, and then paint it, or you could go out. And you can basically paint over the entire screen, which including the border too. You can paint over that too. It doesn't make a difference. And you could basically string this up outside and use this for your outdoor home theater screen. Now, keep in mind, uh, and I'm going to say keep in mind a lot because one of the things I, I do a lot, um, that you could, uh, once you coat this, like I say, you can strengthen it up and you can use this outside due to the fact that our technology works perfectly outside. Like I said, with the spray on, it's a more concentrated uh, screen paint. You can produce images in the hours of 9 o'clock in the morning, 8 o'clock in the morning, 12 o'clock in the afternoon, and so forth. As long as you don't have direct sunlight hitting the screen, you're going to be doing just fine. You can have it under an awning. It'll pick up. Now, the requirements for projectors outside... Uh, for the spray on or roll on and keep in mind roll on has to be used in between five and six and the evening hours are projectors of 3500 lumens and up now the demonstration you saw aside which i'm explain about that particular coating because a few people have been emailing me us saying emailing us saying is that a new screen paint it's not a new screen paint it's actually a gain booster uh it's designed to make enhance the screen and make it even be able to take on more ambient light. Keep in mind our technology here, as you can see in our demonstration, it takes on more ambient light than any screen you've ever seen on YouTube. No one does demonstrations like we do when it comes to ambient light rejection. But this right here, just get back on track. This is one of the screens that comes with um, the um, the uh, the K and A home cinema in a box. So this is being shipped out to a customer today, along with his uh, Panasonic projector. Now, if you go on our website, you'll notice that all, most of them are out of stock. We only have one that's not in stock, and uh, that's just with this one right here. This one right here is still available. This is a 3,000 lumen. Bring this over here. The other projectors, really quick. This is a 3,000 lumen. Uh, Panasonic projector. This is on the site right now. Somebody had messaged me yesterday on um, on my uh, channel telling me that they looked and they didn't see each HDMI ports. That projector has an HDMI port. Now keep in mind, in our demonstrations, in our demonstrations, we um, always do unboxings. Now I do unboxings live on Facebook. If a projector comes to us, it's not factory sealed, it's in, a, in another box, such like so. Those are sold already. If it's in another box, just like so, then we take it out, we do unboxings, we plug them in, we show them off on Facebook Live, or I might do a couple of them here on YouTube, but majority of them are done on our Crystal Edge uh, technology screen Facebook fan page. We do a lot of live unboxing, plugging the projector in, showing the customer exactly what they're getting. We test it firsthand, and we show it on our technology over here, our screen paint, or screen paint when we have one. All right, so this is the projector right now on the website. And it's going for around 548. It comes with that giant surface you saw upstairs. That screen is 140 40 inches, 169. And like I said, there's two ways you can use it. Now I'll put my camera here for a minute because I want to grab something out of the back real quick. I don't like a lot of cameras, a lot of projectors laying around. But I want to grab something in the back real quick. Bumping in stuff as usual. You're going to hear that a lot in a lot of my videos. Me bumping in stuff. My shop is clean. I just got a lot of stuff in my shop. All right. Let me grab the camera so you can follow with me. Come over here. And I'm going to show you now. This is the screen that I was displaying uh, on one of my channels. On my channel. Not one of my channels. On my channel showing you how to build an easy suspension screen using the surface with the grommets. So 
this is my screen right here that I built out of like when you when you make a regular um, a regular uh, fixed frame projection screen you make it so the material overlaps over it and when you design this one you make it where it's bigger than the screen itself that way you can put screws here and here and so forth all around the screen anywhere you got grommets and you can just tie it down nice and tight and that'll suspend it right to the wooden frame and that'll allow you to have your own fixed frame or suspension frame uh, projection screen. Now those of you are not going to do it this way, you're not going to take it outside and you're going to use an indoors. All you got to do is just cut the material right here and just overlap it. Make it so the uh, frame is smaller than the actual material and overlap it and just staple it down all around the edges and you're done. Now any wrinkles or anything you may have in the screen for those going to be using it for indoor use, uh, please keep in mind that you can take a warm iron, hit the back of the screen on gentle cycle and that will remove any of the wrinkles on the back of the screen. I hadn't, I didn't have time to iron that one out. All right, so just showing you off some of the projections we have here. Now, over here, this is our wallpaper projection screen. I love this stuff right here. This makes it easier for our customers because this is a pre-coated surface, which means you do not have to paint it. All you gotta do is take it out of the box. It comes with three, I think, I think it comes with uh, the Scotch double-sided tape. Stick it onto the back of it. Collect, connect it to your wall and you're done, that's it. Easy, easy, make cheesy. I don't know where I got that from, but I feel like saying it. But anyway, that's how easy it is. All you gotta do is just take it, put the tape on the back and connect it to the wall. Now they are very flexible. They're about credit card thin. I'm gonna come up here and show you. Put my hand in here to show you it's not painted on the wall. They're credit card thin, they're lightweight. They can be rolled up and stored. Now keep in mind, you don't wanna step on this thing because you will snap it. But other than that, they're very, very, they take, they take a lot of punishment. And they are weatherproof. You can take them outside. Now, to get back to the demonstration that was done yesterday on that 1100 lumen projector outside, that coating that sprayed on these screens is a special coating. It's not a new screen paint at all whatsoever. Superior is what superior is. What it is is a special coating that actually boosts the screen's gain capability, giving it the ability to be able to produce much um, um, brighter pictures and much more vivid, more brighter pictures in a fully lit environment. That's what that's designed for. Now keep in mind, we can't sell this to you because we have to apply this. This has to be applied a special way onto the screen in order to do this. And we can only do this with pre-painted screens. Screens that are already pre-painted, we're the only ones that can apply that special coating onto it. It cannot be mixed in any of the other screen paints because it would basically alter the chemical balance and that will cause problems later on for our customers. So our technology is good just the way it is. As you've seen in our demonstrations, we can produce images and well-lit ambient light environments and we don't have to use expensive projectors to do it. Now, the projector I'm using over here is an NEC, uh, it's an NEC uh, 11150 projector. That projector is 720p and it's 3700 lumens. Now, at first, you know, we're doing a lot of demonstrations on 42 and 37 and 3000 lumens. But you know, every once in a while, you know, we're gonna have our critics out there gonna say, hey, guess what? They're using high-end projectors. You know, it's not fair. You know, they should use, you know, you know it, it, they're using just high-end projectors and that's what makes the picture look fantastic. Well, that's where I went out and I bought this bad boy. Now, this is the first one I bought. I bought a 3000 lumen BenQ, you know, just to prove that we didn't have to use 3700 lumens on the NEC. So, got that. And then, I went a little farther. I went out and got myself a Sony projector which is around 1100 lumens. That's 1100 lumen projector, 720p. That's how old that projector is. And not only was it able to pull up an image on our screen paints that pull up an image here, because that's just a roll on superior. The one upstairs is a roll on superior, it pulled up an image. It pulled up an image right here on the wallpaper screen. And then we recoded the wallpaper screen with a special high gain formula and it pulled the image up outside on 1100 lumens at five o'clock in the afternoon. So if you look at my demonstrations, you can see how, look at my demonstrations, how many projectors we test our technology on. Now, also too, very, very big update coming up really quick. I wanna add in really quick. Um, we have the 235.1 package coming in. There's a view sign coming in today. It has 235.1 capability. It's 3,600 lumens. 
We are going to be doing that demonstration on my 147 inch 235.1 screen. That projector is going to be part of a package deal. Now keep in mind that giant screen you saw upstairs, it's going to come with two screens. It's going to come with this surface, which is about 5 feet by 10 feet. That's 147 inch 235.1 right here and here. And then the screen we have upstairs, which is 140 inch 16.9. Now the reason why we're going to pack two screens in there because this projector does multiple racial options, multiple racial options, which means some of you may want to do 235.1 and some of you may want to stick with 16.9. So to make it so you have the best of both worlds, we're going to put two screens in there. Let me know when you know any company out there, anybody is going to actually set you up with a 235.1 to 16.9, 1610 projector, a gallon of our amazing screen paint and two screens and that's going to be around $848. Projector alone would cost you around $500 by itself and you wouldn't even come close to getting one of those screens for cheap not with this kind of high technology attached to it. Screens that can almost come close to this technology could easily cost you around four to five grand easily. Let me go over here. I'm down here at the bottom of my menu over here pulling up videos at the bottom where my cell phone's connected. And that's what I tell people. When you watch your demonstrations, when you look at our technology, tell me how many people are doing demonstrations where they're taking an 1100 lumen projector outside in the evening hours and pulling up an image. That projector was sitting back around 10 feet from the screen at 1100 lumens. Think about that. Like I said, there's no lampshades down here. We don't do the lampshades. It's all raw, raw lighting hitting the screen. Now keep in mind, when you do enough demonstrations on projectors such like this, 1100 lumens, at this point, you can comfortably do a demonstration on 42 or 3000 lumens or 3700 lumens because we can back up that the technology can work on a projector of 1100 lumens. Do this in a fully lit environment. Now I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. I'm Kenneth Bird from Illuminous 4K Screen Paint using ambient light projection technology gain times 4 and 5. We have one projector available on the website by K&A. The Panasonic is sold. Sorry, that one's gone. The one you saw over there with the remote control is sold. Um, we are going to bring more projectors in. We do have that big boy package. It's one of the biggest packages we ever designed. That 235.1, that projector will be in today. So we can do some demonstrations off that one too. Cannot wait for that one to come in. So I'm going to fill this whole entire screen out completely. Just to show you the white levels on this black screen. These are the white levels. Highest white levels on a black screen. And keep in mind, my projectors are 720p. That's it. They're all 720p projectors. Now, I haven't mentioned already the ViewSonic projector we have coming in is brand new in the box with a warranty. Not only that, that projector is 3600 lumens. This one is 3700 lumens. Now also too, for those of you that are wondering about the ratio sizes for the wallpaper screen, it is four feet by eight feet. It does 16, nine, 16, 10, and it also does 235.1. You can also cut the screen and customize it to your liking. And yes, like I said, they are weatherproof, so you can take them outside. Now it's like I said, it's a pre-coated screen. There is no painting required. All you have to do is take it out, stick that 3M tape, not 3M, we can use 3M tape if you want. We use the Scotch double-sided tape, stick it to your wall, you're done. That's it. That looks absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous! I love this screen paint.
Now as that's playing, let's get over here. So this one over here is sold. This is a customer. Uh, his projector is going out very soon. We had to order remote control for his uh, for his projector, so we had to go order one. So he has a remote control already set up. We're gonna throw batteries in that for you, so just to let you know, it will come with batteries. We always throw batteries in there. This is the projector available on the website right now. It does come with that massive 140 inch screen I showed up upstairs. Uh, this projector is uh, WXGA, it's 3000 lumen, it is a Panasonic, and it does have HDMI outports on the back of it. These are not for sale, these are my babies. These are my test babies right here. This one is show you something really quick, cool too here. And I had a cord attached to it, didn't know that. These projectors, which I like, the NECs, have interchangeable lenses. So that's a standard lens right there. This lens right here is a, I call it extreme long throw lens. That's my term for it. And what this lens does is, okay, now say if you got your projector pulled all the way back here, right? And you want to show an image at 18 feet back or 30 feet back. What happens if you use an everyday projector, it's going to actually overlap. It's going to expand. It's going to hit everything in the environment. But this particular lens right here is designed to shoot a very narrow image and to hit the screen without over expanding the environment. It's designed to lock into that little center right there and just project a nice small image right there. And you can actually expand it to fit a hundred inch screen at 20 feet away. They use those in movie theaters. Because keep in mind, if you use a screen that actually, a, a regular projector, and it, you don't have the ability to actually narrow the cone where it's coming through, then the problem you're going to have is it's going to overexpand everything. It's going to hit the screen, it's going to hit the walls, it's going to hit everything. That's what that lens does. And I like these because the NECs have interchangeable lenses. So you can actually remove the lens from here. See if I can take it out with one hand. I don't know if I can get out with one hand. I'm going to put the camera here so you can see for yourself. Make sure I got it right. See that? You can pull the lens out. So, here's the lens right here. I can take it out. And this right here, whoo, be careful setting this thing down. That's the other lens right here. See the difference between the two? So one is a long throw, and the other one's a short throw. Well, not a short throw. This does short throw also. So you can put a short throw lens in there also. So it's easy to put in. Kind of got a feel for it, but there's a locking system in there. There, you hear that click? And once it's in, that's it. So that's a long throw lens right there. You see the difference how this one sticks out, the narrow, the narrow cone lens, or this I call it extreme long throw. See how that one sticks out? Now I got this another model over here. This is different. This one doesn't stick out at all. So you can actually change the lenses out on these. And how I got this one running, because these don't have HDMI ports on the back of it, I got my trusty converter back there allowing me to convert that over. Now, I had somebody, I think they got a little confused. They were thinking that some of the projectors we had on there didn't have HDMI ports. All our projectors on our website have HDMI ports. If it doesn't, it will actually say that it comes with an HDMI or VGA to HDMI converter. That will be stated. We always make sure that all the information is crystal clear on our website so you can read through it, get proper information before you purchase. But if it's saying, if it says no, if you're reading the description and it says no HDMI and it says bottom line is converter, then that's how you would know. All right, thank you all for your time. You all have a good one. I gotta go because I gotta get ready for the setup for the new projector that's coming in and I'm gonna have a ball with that. Thank you all and God bless.